Hey guys, it is Sunset Seed here, and we are back at it again with another one. Who's excited? I am. I don't care about y'all being excited or not being excited because today is a big day. Because we are here for my six month pregnancy update. I know I'm six months already. I think the last time you guys heard or the last time I filmed, I was probably like three. I think we we're on our way to like our first ultrasound. But yeah, your girl is six whole months, y'all. That's like more than halfway there. Like, that means when Christmas comes up, Thanksgiving comes up, New Year's comes up, I'm about to have a baby. Like, that is crazy. This is like my last holiday season without an infant that right there is just like tweaking me out the thought of that is just like pew, that's crazy so we are back to do a six month pregnancy chit chat q a kind of thing because i always get a lot of questions on my instagram underneath all of these videos because you guys want to know and i mean i want to know too i want to let y'all know okay so let's just jump right into it i wrote down a couple of questions that i've collected throughout the last few months that you guys have been asking me so hopefully we can get right through them and of course if you guys have more questions you guys can you know ask them down below so the first question is can I see your belly now I'm gonna show you guys my belly okay now I told my doctor the other day at my doctor's appointment that I kind of felt like people were trying to like little bump shame me like I am naturally very small naturally petite my pre-pregnancy weight was 121 and with me being six months in I've gained about 12 pounds I'm about like 133 right now which for me is like thick sit 133 for me I've only ever been 133 a few times in my life but that's like oh she dragging a wagon type said but honestly in this situation your girl is not dragging a wagon it's a strong negative for me okay I think all of my weight has gone to my boobs and to my belly okay but even still people are like oh my god you're six months oh my god you look so small oh my god you look like me when I eat and I don't get offended by it but you never know who may like some pregnant people they get offended if they're too small or they're too big and it's like every body carries different every baby grows different every baby wants to sit either in the front the back the side stretch out so i don't like when people try to like little bump shame me or like discredit my pregnancy like you're barely pregnant and it's like how are you barely pregnant i feel every single emotion at this point, I'm feeling every single kick. I know, she's kicking, y'all. She kicking, flipping, squirming around. It's a little baby Simone Biles in there, okay? So I hate when people say stuff like, you're barely pregnant, you're so small. And I know they mean like nothing but positives when they say that. But it's also like, girl, barely? What does barely pregnant mean? But overall, I don't really get offended by it. But I don't like hearing that, especially if there's like another pregnant person sitting next to me who's like a week in front of me and they're big as a house i don't like hearing that it makes me just feel weird because if i'm being honest i'm only six months and i got what three more to go and i'm pretty sure that i'm going to blow up so what i normally say is like haha thanks girl like keep that same energy next month when you see me wobbling around here for some reason <laughs> i know my husband for sure is like a visual creature so if he doesn't see you wobbling around here or like can't do for yourself he looks at it as like you barely pregnant and it's like I'm just carrying really really well I mean sue me okay so I'm gonna show you guys my belly okay <laughs> so this is my little six month pregnant belly <laughs> this is her and I am feeling a lot of movement right now she kicks she squirms I haven't been able to record anything because it's not consistent yet the doctor says that she's still a little bit too small to for the movement to be consistent but this is her this is her from the other side more so my weight is kind of like in the down like the downward part of my stomach versus at the top honestly I still have ab lines at the top so she's kind of sitting really really low right on my bladder which is why a girl has to go to the bathroom every two seconds okay <laughs> And yeah, that is my little baby belly. That's her. <laughs> I think I answered the question. Everyone wants to know, like, how much weight have I gained so far? About 10 to 12 pounds. 
my first trimester y'all i was starving like marvin i think mainly because it was like my body's way of getting ready to produce a, a human or produce something like my metabolism was just speedy speed like i'll eat in two seconds later i'm like i'm starving and then my doctor explained to me like i need to eat more high protein things more things that actually stick with me because i was used to eating i mean if i'm being honest my diet was a little bit on the bad side meaning i ate whatever i wanted to i worked out of course but i wasn't really like health conscious if that makes sense i wasn't like i have to eat my three meals a day it has to have rice it has to have meat it kind of was like oh what do i want to eat today hmm, let's see and then i just kind of ate that but now during my first trimester um baby was like yeah girl no I need to eat some stuff that's going to stick to my bones, okay? And it was kind of weird for me because I'm like, oh my God, everything that I'm eating is just running straight through me. I was snacking a lot, and then I think that's where I gained those 10 pounds right there. Until I got my eating schedule kind of more so down packed because now I am almost 12. Well, actually, I'll be 25 weeks tomorrow. So yes, I am almost 25 weeks pregnant. And now I have my eating schedule more so maintained. I'm not one of those pregnant people overall that gives the excuse of, well, I'm pregnant. I can eat whatever I want. I'm eating for two. And it's like, yeah, I am. But honestly, I'm also planning for after baby life. <laughs> I'm just saying. I am not one of those that has unrealistic expectations of myself. Meaning, when I drop this baby, I'm going to be back to 120. I'm not one of those people. But I do have realistic expectations for myself and my body. And I am trusting my body to do what it needs to do grow a healthy human okay and you know to give me back my body or give me back a body that I can love and work with and work out and you know things like that so I gained about 12 pounds so far and honestly guys it's basically in my boobs and in my stomach well you guys saw my stomach so I'm not huge I think I'm a really nice size I mean people be trying to look bump shamey but I think I'm an okay size but guys, one thing that nobody told me about was like my pregnancy boobs. Guys, my pregnancy boobs are amazing. Like, I'm not gonna lie, I feel like I may have like one more day party in me. I feel like I need to throw on a crop top, a bodysuit, uh, a blazer with no shirt underneath it because y'all, my boobs are like sitting pretty. Okay, like them things are giving like boob job right now boob job instantly because them things are sitting y'all and honestly I before pre-pregnancy I was a 34b bra size and I still am that size but I'm just filling out a lot more than I was before and I'm impressed okay I'm walking around like hey, check me out <laughs> I feel like I'm to the point where if I drop something I literally can be like oh oh my god oh, let me pick that up okay before my boobs were kind of like oh she's so cute and she got no boob now I'm just like who who ain't got who ain't got no boobs because bam you don't see these things <laughs> now <laughs> I heard that when you breastfeed your boobs will still be great and then I heard that they kind of deflate after you breastfeed so I don't know y'all I may be one of those breastfeeding a five-year-old because I need these things for the next few years okay <laughs> no I'm just playing but not playing I don't know we gotta see another question that I get asked all the time is that I have any morning sickness and honestly no and I was so prepared, y'all. I was so prepared to be one of those pregnant women that got morning sickness. I went on Amazon and bought all kinds of like morning sickness, ginger, lemon type of candies. Because I'm like, knowing me, I probably get all the terrible symptoms of the pregnancy. And y'all, not one. Like I still have this entire bag. I got these from Amazon. They are called morning sickness sweets. And apparently they, well they have mango and ginger in them. And apparently ginger helps like settle your stomach and stuff like that. And y'all, I only ever used like three of them. So honestly, I had a really, really great first trimester. And if I'm being honest, overall, I've had a really great pregnancy. Like baby girl has been kind of calm. Knock on wood, knock on something because I don't know. But I had no morning sickness, honestly. Now I have bouts of like nausea where I wake up and I'm like, I'm like that right now. If I wake up, I got a good 30, 40 minutes before I get real cranky and I'm not myself when I'm hungry, okay? When I wake up now, I got to drink some tea to kind of settle my stomach. Sometimes I get a little nauseous, but it's not like, damn, like, 
like what I thought pregnancy would be like, which is a great thing. Everyone's like, you're so lucky. And I guess overall I am because no morning sickness. Now, I don't know about the babies to come after this, but my baby right now is kind of spoiling you, girl, okay?